Right now all this function is doing is finding out what time it is and based on that time writing a sinusoidal value out to port A0 that we're going to read in through port A3 that's connected to A0 with a wire. We'd like to have a function that will take a number of values from port A3 and put them into an array so that we can process them. We declare the array with square brackets and the number of elements that the array is going to have. Then we can put in a function call for the function that we're going to write that will take the array as an argument and will take the number of values we want to collect as another argument. Let's start with four elements, a nice manageable, easy to look at number. Now we need to define the function that we're trying to call and make sure that it does what we want it to. We'll declare it as void, a function that doesn't return anything, and make sure that we pass the uh, two values that we've already included in our main loop. The variable names don't need to match between the function and the place where we're calling it, and usually it's better if they don't match exactly so we don't get confused. A for loop will let us iterate and capture multiple values, each into its own indexed element in the array. Once we've assigned the values, we should also be able to read them back out of the array in the original loop. We won't see anything on the monitor unless we print those values out when they get back to the loop. Now let's have a look at what we see if we don't call the get function to go and get the values. We just see the same values that happen to be sitting in memory printed out over and over again. It's a really good idea to make sure that you initialize your array to, say, zero, so that you don't get confused by this kind of output. So now we'll see zeros, or if we start calling the function again, we'll start seeing the live values that are coming in once again. Pass an empty array to a function if you want to get a whole list of values back, or you can pass an array that you've already created to a function if you want it to somehow modify or, or act on those values and pass you something back from there.